Hello guys, welcome to the Python series. In last video, we saw how uh, we have to write the steps in order to create a tic-tac-toe game, each individual step in order to create the tic-tac-toe game. Now we are going to write the entire code where all these steps are integrated in a single code. So let's start with the final arrangement of the So yeah, so first let's assume that we are running a while loop throughout the game and uh, con considering while as true, taking board into 10, so the space check from 0 to 9. So this is same as instead of writing this you can also do this the initial uh, method which is this This is both are the same, just that it's a much more simpler. Instead of writing so much, you can just uh, write a cell and into 10. So this is much easier compared to that. So next we are going to create markers for player one and player two. And you're gonna say that it is going to be the player input, whether it's gonna choose player one or player two. So the turn is going to be the function which we have already uh, seen in the previous video. Choose first. Yeah. And we're gonna print saying turn plus will play first so here it will automatically choose which player you are it'll automatically choose which player you are based on the choice and directly decide who will play first so next we are going to so it's saying that play game so and we are asking the user saying that are you So asking the user whether he is really ready to play the game. And we are going to give him option. Saying yes slash no. Then use the dot lower. So that. Yeah. So this is uh, for this thing. And if play game, so if the play game is continued to be true, game on is true, the game continues. Else, game on is false, it discontinues there. So next. So we are iterating through while loop, which is uh, for game on. So whether the game on should be true or false. So iterating through the while loop, and now we'll start with the player one. We'll start with for player one. Then we'll say if uh, turn chooses uh, player one 
So if the turn chooses player 1, then second, yeah, chooses player 1, we have to display board. Then we have to choose the position where it's going to start. Uh, that would be the player's choice. That's going to be the next player's choice. We're going to check space check throughout the, this thing and uh, select whether the this thing is not. And then we are going to use the marker. to position the to find the position of the player and if win check we are checking for whether the player one will win the game or not so we are entering the position and uh, no not position then we get player one marker yeah player one marker and then we're gonna display the board again And we are going to say, we are going to print a message saying that player one has won the game. And congratulations. Yeah. So this will be the message which has been uh, displayed. And here the game on would be false next we're going to see for the else statement you're going to check the entire board and we're going to display the board again And if this happens, uh, I say the game is draw and enter a message uh, saying that better luck next time. Yeah. And next, we are going to break out of the loop. So when it breaks out a loop, it will go to the second player. Now we're going to write the code for the second player. So now let's look into for player two. So it's just the same as player two, player one. Just will make some changes. So we'll just copy and paste it and we'll just make some changes we'll make it player 2 and and yeah so here it will go to player 1 then If not, replay then we'll break. So I'm going to start. I implemented the code and uh, now it's asking me to enter a marker. So I'll be entering X. So I'm player two. 
so so first let me enter two and x one and it's player two's chance a one's chance so and three and now i want x to win so four and now five and seven here you can see that player one has won i want to play again do you want to play again yes now i want to check what if what happens when the game is draw so i'll in, i'll take the marker to be o so i'm player two yes so one then two then three then five so i want to block o from winning so i'll be giving eight so next is um four so i want i want to block o from winning again so x now i want to block x from winning nine and last position seven here you can see the game is draw it's showing better luck next time so it's asking again do you want to play again so i'll say i don't want to play again and no so the now it's exited out of the loop and stopped the game so i hope you guys understood the following exercise and how to uh, implement this and i want you all to try this on your own so that it's uh, very much interesting and fun